Hey y'all, it is my gem back with long overdue video and I just want to say I basically ghosted this channel. I was just like out of there, but I am definitely back now. Um here with a DIY video and before we get into this video, I just want to give y'all a little bit of tea so that y'all can sit on this right quick. So I've been doing a podcast with two of my friends from middle school and it's called Lady like, Sip This and in this podcast we'll be talking about you know just our daily struggles we're talking about pop culture relevant topics we'll also be talking about just like you know things that people our age kind of go through and giving tips we'll have some guest co-hosts we'll have you know just a lot of, lot of fun things that you can tune into so I think it would be cool if y'all would um, you know, subscribe to our channel called Lady Sip This and follow us on Instagram at Lady Sip This underscore. I'll definitely go ahead and add all the links in my description box below and the names of the pages so that you can follow us. Our first podcast is now dropped. I'm so excited for everyone to hear this and just be able to get to know me a little bit better and see it. See me, you know? Who doesn't want to see me? Um, so enough of that, so let's get into this video. So in this video, I'll be doing a DIY tie-dye set. So I've been seeing these tie-dye sets around like basically the websites that I shop at, as well as, well as local boutiques. Um, and I'm just like, these are really, really cute. You know, I've never really been a fan of tie-dye, but I just thought these are cute. They look casual and comfy, and I felt like, why not? However, I was just not feeling the whole 40 to $80 price range of these tie-dye sets. I just thought to myself, making it so girl. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. I will be making a cute, comfy DIY tie-dye set. And I feel like these sets can be worn in the house, you know, it's quarantine, you gotta say quarantine, fresh to death or whatever. And you can even wear these to go see your homegirls pop out right quick to the store if you gotta pull up on that someone right quick ladies if y'all <laughs> know what i mean you know i just thought this is very cute we'll do a little netflix and chill in your house whatever the case may be i just thought this would be a cute comfy set and i just wanted to show y'all that you do not have to purchase these sets you can make them yourself so you know diy queen myself why not start off i purchased these um all white set at prelittings.com um, obviously I'll be adding the link of exactly the item name and you know my description box it is damp right now so it's wet it's a little heavy I'll be using an oversized white hoodie um, I would say in this particular item depending on the size you normally wear pretty little things in their sweaters hoodies whatever t-shirts I would say size down I got a medium however it did say oversized I did not really think it would be that oversized but it is, it is a little bit big. However, I am going for more slouchy, comfortable, look nothing fitted, you know, just cute, comfy. So it is okay, I kind of made it work. Um, lucky for me, my mom does know her way around the sewing machine. Your girl doesn't. So I had her take it in a little bit, you know, make it a little more fitted, not so oversized. And then I just turned some basic sweatpants um, into, cute comfy shorts so I'll actually be doing a, a short set two piece shorts that will be way cuter it's more my style so I was like yeah why not so um right so anyways I'll be using warm water here I have a picture of warm water um I will be using Rick dye that I purchased from my local Michaels I'm not sure if you can see that it is in the color aquamarine all purpose dye so this is it. I'll be adding it in the description box, of course, in the link. Um, I got this hair dye bottle from my local beauty supply store. Um, I've seen in other videos that you can use a spray bottle. However, I thought this might be a little easier for me, so I got it. Um, I'll be using rubber gloves to avoid dye getting on these nails, as well as my hands, of course. And rubber bands. These rubber bands will be used tie off your clothes once you get ready to tie dye to section it off so i also have a little cup of um 
dish washing soap i saw that some people were adding a little bit of this to their water um their diet make sure have a little washcloth um been through it but it's white and i'll be using that to basically test my color before i apply it onto my clothes because i only ordered one set so it's gonna have to work so anyways enough of this let's get into this all okay, right so moving in we're gonna grab our dry i'm gonna get the bottom a little change So all I'm doing is just getting a little bit of the mixture and I'm pouring it onto my tester washcloth um, just to check the color. So as you can tell, it appears to be a deep blue. However, I was worried, but it does not come out that color. Be sure when getting ready to tie-dye that you have your items dampened, whether it's in the shower or in your sink, just make sure you're starting on wet clothes. Unfortunately, I did not have enough storage on my phone, so you will not be seeing me tie-dye my shorts, but I am using the scrunch method and I'm just starting from the bottom, working my way all the way up to the top and then I'll be sectioning off the shorts with a rubber band. So you'll be seeing that in the end. So at this point, I ran out of storage on my camera. Um, so I just was able to get footage of me getting halfway into my sweater. So I basically have scrunched my sweater up and now I'm taking a rubber band and I'm just sectioning it off into different sections. So in total, I probably use maybe three to four rubber bands and this is my first time tie dyeing tie dyeing guys so please just bear with me i'm by no means a professional so i am also learning from this video as you can see so i'm just trying my best to tie off sections because i found that um it will give it more of a, like a splattered effect the more sections you have tied off so i'm just taking my hair dye bottle that's filled with my tie dye and i'm just kind of in no specific pattern i'm just kind of like spraying all over <laughs> just making sure to get as much as the white parts okay, so this part is pretty repetitive so i'm just basically going to speed up the video but basically like i was saying all i'm going to be doing is continue to section off parts of the sweater it's pretty much up to you where you choose to section off um this is where I chose to so I'm gonna speed up the video and then we'll get into the next step Okay, so at this point, I'm just removing the rubber bands that I had to section off the sweater. Um, and I'm just checking to see what parts have tied at, what parts don't. The camera does cut because I didn't have enough storage, but that's a step you could skip or do however I recommend doing it. So this part is not caught on camera, but basically all you will be doing is just using the same garbage bags that you had on your table or floor or whatever to protect your surface area and you will go ahead and use them to tie up your items that you're tie dyeing so i let them sit overnight in the bags this is the outcome this was eight hours you could leave it for longer however i thought eight hours was just fine for me and i was really eager to see the outcome so this is what it's looking like um i'm going to basically remove the rubber bands and put them put my items to wash um by themselves together together by themselves without any other clothing items and i'm gonna go ahead and just put on a normal wash basically this is just gonna rinse out the excess color and after that i will you know take a look at it um this is just me opening it up out of the rubber bands to see what it's looking like i had just rinsed 
rinsed out the excess dye um in my sink you didn't see that part but that's that's what you could do if not you know just throw it in your washing machine it's up to you if you want to skip that part or not so at this point i'm just kind of looking at the sweater okay guys so this is the finishing outcome of my diy tie-dye set as i said i was going to turn them into shorts and i just want to say i think it came out really well compared to how i kind of was struggling in the video a little bit i did use the scrunch method i put my own twist on it as you can tell um you know i definitely think this will be a process that i could get better at but this is the outcome for now it is a beautiful 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 pop in sky blue.